It's only the beginning of the year, and it looks like Neuralink's human trials are finally happening. For a while, the only thing that has been hindering Musk's company from moving on to the next stage of development is approval from the FDA. Now, reports are saying that they've gotten it and they are moving fast. What progress has Neuralink made to kick off 2023? How soon would results of the human trials be made public? When can you access the chip? Stay till the end as you don't want to miss any part of this information-packed video on Neuralink. Without further ado, let's begin. Come one, come all. The main goal of Neuralink is to create a human-machine interface that would help people with paralysis and solve existential risks due to artificial intelligence. Imagine it! You can type, play games, and do everything you can imagine only by thinking about it. Incredible! The promise this holds for people living with paralysis is massive. But that's not all Elon is promising. At the most recent Neuralink presentation, Musk said that the device's early uses could help restore vision to the visually impaired. But before you get too excited, according to the company, human testing of the chip interface that targets the motor cortex is set to begin, as Elon Musk confirmed that although the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has not given the business authority to market the gadget, the majority of the required paperwork for FDA approval to implant the device in a person has already been submitted. Admitted. While there are no videos or reports on any tests carried out on humans, Neuralink has been busy testing out its novel device on animals. As you'd expect, the videos have been as exciting as they are trendy. Think of how good it will look when we see humans use the implant, probably to play your favorite game or see the first successful use of the device on a blind person. Scenes A Beginner's Guide to BCIs from the company's show and tell event last year, we know how far the company has gone in creating the Neuralink brain-computer interface, and it's just what you'd expect from a company from Elon Musk. The N1 is the most important part of the Neuralink device. The company has been working on making the N1 much smaller and more practical to reduce scar tissue and inflammation. The N1 chip is a tiny microprocessor put deep inside the brain. It can stimulate the brain and record its activity. When implanted, the chip will be located immediately behind the ear and linked to the brain by thin electrodes, a collection of small wires. Afterwards, the electrodes monitor activity and send electrical currents to the brain to stimulate it. Researchers can remotely get the chip's data by wirelessly capturing it. The business has been honing the N1 so that it is around the size of a single rupee coin and comprises a small implant for the brain. And yes, the N1 does require charging, in case you were wondering. The N1 has an aluminum battery base and supports wireless charging. The business is developing a third-generation charger with bi-directional capabilities. Most of us consider having a bionic chip robotically implanted in our heads to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and Musk intends to keep it that way. Already annoying, software updates constantly occur when we don't want them to. The attractiveness of having a super brain is somewhat diminished by the thought of having to see the neighborhood neurosurgeon each time the software requests an update. As a result, a sizable portion of Neuralink would be worn behind the ear, outside of the skull. The battery and software are housed in this wearable, known as the Link. In this manner, you may take the device out to recharge when the battery is at 5%. The processing for a software update also takes place on the Link. Neuralink isn't just focused on the brain. At the occasion, Musk claimed that the next stage was to create gadgets that could help patients with severed spinal cords regain their ability to move. The business has previously carried out experiments that demonstrate its technology can trigger animal movement through several implants. The N1 chip is probably present in the animal's spinal cord together with another one. The N1 chip's capabilities might eventually extend to detecting and monitoring medical disorders. Additionally, two monkeys, Code and Dash, had N1 chips implanted into their visual cortex by Neuralink. The information received from these chips could give the blind their sight back. The ability to be upgraded is a top priority for Neuralink. According to Musk, Sake, and Pager, two volunteer monkeys have successfully updated their implanted chips. In Musk's words, the Neuralink that would initially be available can be compared to the iPhone 1. You don't want an iPhone 1 in your brain when the iPhone 14 is available. Thus, upgradability is crucial. Musk has even joked about being a demo for another Neuralink presentation, so he'd want this device to be upgradable. Starting with a bang. 
Still on Musk, if you thought 2022 was a busy year for the entrepreneur, from his electric cars and rockets to buying Twitter and building a humanoid robot, then things are about to get even busier this year, and it has not taken him too many days to begin the year 2023 with a bang. His company, Neuralink, is set to receive approvals from the FDA to begin human trials. Yes, this means that in no time, we will have reports on how close we are to seeing the Neuralink chip change the course of our future. Like almost all of Musk's projects, the goals are as high as you can imagine, but after the success of his other endeavors, it's hard to bet against him, even though the stakes are at their highest. So what is he trying to do this time? Step right up. To reaffirm their claims about beginning human trials, Neuralink has launched a patient registry. The company has already begun a selection process for humans interested in participating in its clinical trials. To be a fly in that clinic, while we assume the chosen participants would have to sign an NDA, it'll be a treat to see the scientists at Neuralink go to work as they offer a new dimension to our future. So why is Neuralink creating a patient registry? Easy. The company stated that it has gotten previous information from a small group of people with varying degrees of motor disability. A patient registry will help understand the needs of a bigger, more varied group of people with various diseases. The patient registry would also assess individual preliminary eligibility for the company's clinical trials. Who can join the clinical trials? Anyone, except you must be living in the United States, at least 18 years old, and have reached the legal age of majority in your state. You must also be capable of giving permission and be quadriplegic, paraplegic, or have a visual, hearing, or speech impairment. Musk has emphasized that the company respects its test participants and the implants are extensively examined before being implanted. Neuralink acknowledged that some of its animal test subjects had unavoidably passed away, which looked to be in response to several media reports that accused the business of mistreating animals for its invasive brain surgeries. Sounds pretty neat, almost like we're in an episode of Black Mirror. What could go wrong? The Musk Touch Medical research has long used BCI technology to assist physically challenged persons in regaining their physical abilities, so most of it is nothing new. Such applications have been the subject of lengthy laboratory studies by BCI researchers, and Neuralink might be well behind other businesses in the race to commercialize these technologies. BlackRock is one of only two businesses approved by the American Food and Drug Administration to test BCI technology in human brains. Through clinical studies, in collaboration with experts worldwide, it has implanted chips in more than 30 patients. The FDA also gave Synecron, a New York-based business, permission to test such devices in human brains last year. However, the process Neuralink uses to create and implant brain chips sets it apart from other companies. This is part of Musk's larger intention to utilize the implant to fully combine human consciousness with artificial intelligence, and maybe even in healthy individuals and medical circumstances. So what do you think about Neuralink's human trials? Are you excited for it? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, then you'd love this next one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on the most interesting Elon Musk news.